So, so we're starting now? I'm already starting because I need to explain something. What? Today's video is entitled An Inconvenient Truth. Wait, do I have to start over? I'm st I just started. Oh. Say hi, everybody, because you always start with hi. Hi, everybody. There you go. Okay, so an inconvenient truth today is that we recorded the first five minutes of this video. <laughs> I forgot to hit start Record. yeah. recording. So let me make sure everything's recording. It is. Yeah. So we went, we actually took you through the drive through on we the did. We got our you, McDonald's. You weren't a part of it. Sorry, but, we, but you we were a part of it because you were in our hearts. But, so, <laughs> today's, so. In, today's first inconvenient truth is that I'm stupid. But no. second, so we're going down Porter Road right now just to, to orient you what we're going to do today. We're going to go to a community called Lakeside of Hamlin. We've driven past it before. It's a Dream Finders community. Um, but, pause you? please. I just want to pause you real quick because the Orlando Health Hospital is over here to our left. Yep. Uh, we see this all the time while we're drive, driving down Avalon Road. And then over here is a little strip of shops, including our vet, West Orange West um, Veterinary, Veterinary Hospital. Hospital. Right there. They, have uh, they have a location uh, close to our existing home, but they do also have a new location there. They have lots more money. Yeah. They have, um, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to mention yeah. that while we were right here, because we are on Porter Road, which is kind of perpendicular-ish to where we were before, yeah. and now continue with okay, uh, so, Lakeside. So Lakeside Hamlin, Dream Finders. Um, so Amy had her first uh, pre-construction meeting with a client there. I did. Yesterday um, morning. It was, was so exciting. Very, very. And by the way, there it is. You can see it. We've driven past it many times, yeah. but they have roads in there now that we can drive on. So we're going to take you back there, show you that. Then we're going to go over and we're going to go up this road up here, Lake Ingram Ro Ingraham Road or Ingram Road, um, because there's going to be a new community back there. There's North Lake, Silver Leaf. There's a bunch of communities that are kind of in that way. We don't know what's there. So we're going to take you and find out. Um, so, so real quick for, for my clients that, um, cause we've got quite a few that have already contracted here in Lakeside and Hamlin. Now this is one of the communities that we've, we have, we've talked about it a lot. We've, we've referenced the, the, the moving of dirt back and forth and the, how long it's taken. So this was one of the builders in the communities where they were doing pre-sales. So they were pre-selling this community out of their existing community called Wincy Groves, which is just up the street right yep. there. And this community sold so quickly, but some of my clients, I mean, they literally contracted like six months ago. Yep. Um, so the build process Let's is extremely right long um, for, you know, they were able to lock in six months ago, but unfortunately they've had to sit and kind of wait and wait and wait. But and guess what? Now we had our first pre-construction meeting and there so, we go. And so that, that's not one of our clients, but yeah, ours but is here up here. Are. But by the way, it's framed. I don't know if they yeah, saw that when they came by. So, um, so yeah, so those pre-construction meetings are going to start to roll out now. So yep. for all of my other clients, uh, it's coming. Just hang in there. Yeah. And so, um, at, so, it, so there are, if you look in front of us, you can see Route 429 is up there in front of us. So that's one of the considerations for this community that we had with some clients. They looked at, some, there's actually some great lots back here. Yep. They back right up to 429. You want a little distance there. Mm -hmm. um, if you got one of those lots, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, that's one of my lots. Good for you. It's going to be solid, yes. going to be good. There's going to be soundproofing and things that go there. It'll be good. It wasn't really for our clients. They they, they actually were able to, to Yeah, to they just found a different ones. lot yeah. in the community. It's um, no biggie. It, so, it's hard to tell because when you... Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, honey. Okay. But when you, um, when you look at their site map or any builder's site map for that matter... It's, it's almost like just a, a cartoon generated looking yeah. thing. It doesn't really show you the topography in the exact lay of the land. And so for that particular client, when, when they were looking at the lot number, we looked at the lot um, coordinated with the site map and knowing this area, even though my clients lived out of state, they didn't really know. Um, Eric and I were talking, we're like, we think that's really close to 429. Yep. So Eric hopped in his car, <laughs> came out with a drone. We're like, and, and go, well, and go up here and I'll show you, I'll show you. So go up here and take a right. At the time I could only park here where that orange vehicle is. <laughs> that's where I could park. Now we wanted to look at lots that are way down there. So we'll take a right and go all the way to the back. Okay. Now remember that the soil here in uh, central Florida is kind of sandy clay, kind of whatever. It's like walking at a spongy beach, uh, when it's just built like that. <laughs> And so I walked, I must have walked a mile and a half around here. I came home soaked and sweat, exhausted. Your calves But I was hurt. like, yeah, my calves <laughs> hurt. And, and they're also, they're digging the, the, the sewer trenches. So I had to climb up and down trenches like I was in World War I or something. But uh, it worked out because our clients actually ended up getting fantastic much, lots. Yeah, and much, um, a really nice lot. Yeah, really good. So this is kind of the main road through here. 
Um, and you can see the water. I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep interrupting you. That's um, the lake. This is so lakeside at Hamlin is man-made lakeside at Hamlin. Yes. Um, but you do have a couple of water views, which, by the way, those are fine. It's just yeah. it's, it's much prettier to look at that than it is, you know, other things. And the thing I like about this community the best is this literally is in the heart of everything. Yes, I mean, you is. are by everything. So yes. um, because you see 429 across there, on the other side of that is kind of where we just came from. Yes. That, that's kind of down the road we came from. But then there's the entire Hamlin commercial areas down there. Mm -hmm. Um, if you go down that way, you're more into Horizon West. If you go north, you're more toward Winter Garden. Hospital is right there. There's also I mean, right. Um, there's also good. a Centric Care I noticed um, near here too, somewhere. I think no. I think that I, it, it's they, in, I think it's they're in building the, this in this community in this on the front community. end of it. Yeah, so that's what it is. Um, yeah, super nice. So um, that's the community. Yeah. Um, so Lakeside at Hamlin Dream Finders, uh, pretty much sold out. I, if anything, they may have a couple of bungalows left. Bungalow meaning the rear entry garage style homes. Everything else is sold out. In fact, so much so that they decided not even to build the model as the decorated model because Amazing. they don't need a sales center. They, they sold it already from the other community. So for those of you who, who think that, you know, waiting is prudent, sometimes, sometimes it's it not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it is not because, no. you know, to, like this, it's like, you know, oh, I'll wait till it gets more built up. But here's the thing. This is the, this is the risky thing for anybody, by the way, in new construction is, um, and I'm gonna stop here for sure. just a second, um, is that when you buy, and think about Horizon West in general, right? I when, will. So, okay, you do that. So this area, when those first builders started those first communities, it's a real leap of faith to take, um, you know, a lot of money uh -huh. and, and build a home and you don't really know what the surroundings are what's right. going to be near you and what is your community going to look like and that's the exact same thing for this you know this is just some earth that they leveled out they did a couple of man-made lakes but you really purchased without right. knowing what the end result is going to be and that's what you have to do most often in new construction and we, most of the time and that's why by the way we did a we did a sunday drive once where we we took <clears> you around we said we want to talk about the feel of neighborhoods yes. this neighborhood will probably feel a lot like Wincy Groves. Oh, absolutely. So, so do this. Go Drive to Wincy, to Wincy Groves. Okay, let's go just, to Wincy Groves. Just to, just okay. to, so, so now picture this. Yep. See where we are. Look around. And now we're going to take you to what this is going to look and feel like. Because sure. it's literally right, right there. there. Yeah. And then we'll come back down and go down Lake Ingram okay. Road. Um, Sounds good. Because I want to play a game today. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, the other thing that I, that I missed recording was um, <clears throat> we, yeah. just, we just want to share with you that we love two other people. <laughs> We that's, do. That's quite a setup. No, we do. It's our best <laughs> friends, uh, Daryl and Jen. Uh, we just had breakfast with them, and uh, Amy used the phrase, uh, it rejuvenates my soul before I started recording. And I was about to say, it refreshes my soul uh, to see them. They're the best people. It's, and it's awesome. And you know, I, I think that when we have those moments with them, it reminds us how important it is for us to stop recording uh, and yeah. stop the insanity for a little bit and get back yeah. to what yeah for just a minute well for an hour you know it was two hours but, two it was hours, yeah, but we'll we need it, it. We'll you know, two it. hours every you know yep. 10 months <laughs> yeah. um it's it's nice to be able to to have um those moments you know sitting outdoors having breakfast uh the french cafe amazing yep. um right here in the area um and i'm also excited because when we build a new home we're gonna be a little bit closer to this so too. our um so we, all, we uh, as it's worked out, we always end up with a, a piece of music that gets stuck in my head. Oh no! Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's happened again. So, but you'll like this one. What? So, but you gotta have oh, friends. Yeah. That's good. But Nibbler, uh we'll play a little bit underneath it. Okay. Good, good song. Mm -hmm. I won't sing it. Although, if anyone is going to perform some Bette Midler for you today, it would be me. But I'm not going to because. We'll leave it to the divine okay. Miss M. Yes. Okay, of course. Anyway. All right, so we are entering Wincy Groves. Groves. So Wincy Groves, um, so first of all, Orange County loves Dream Finders. Yes. It is It is very evident by the number of communities that oh. they have and by the number of communities that they still have coming. So if you recall, these are their two models over here to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the Anna Maria with a bonus, and then they also have the Tidewater on two different home sites. So, um, so this is their completed uh, Wincy Groves community. So if you do have a pre-construction meeting in the next little bit, it'll likely be held here mm -hmm. for Lakeside of Hamlin. That's where we were just yesterday yep. morning with my sweet clients. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick pause, go a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Look at this 
baby. Gosh, in a car. Driving. This so this oh, is what living in Central Florida is about. Is that that, that little baby in the car? And <laughs> oh my God, I I'm just happy today. Go right. right? I'm just happy. Yeah. Just go to the traffic circle. So you know what's here. funny? What is our clients whose home we might be right passing there. right now? We on may the or right. may not be passing it right I, now. I yeah. saw her yesterday walking. You, uh, remember how after I left the pre-construction meeting, I went down the yeah. side road. Yeah. And from a distance, way in front of me, I saw someone walking a dog, and I was like, I know that's her walk. Like, yeah. I know yeah. her. Michelle and Josh. Hey. They're our friends, too. The names. Yes. They're, it they're would restore friends. our soul to talk to you guys, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes, absolutely. Um, but anyway, it was just, it was funny. So, I love this community. But this is, the reason we're here is to give feel. them a representation, yes. a feel of most likely, because a lot of these floor plans, they're the same floor plans over at Lakeside. It's going to feel Hamlet. just like this. This feels like a dream finders community, and absolutely. that will, too. Um, breaking yeah. news. Breaking news. Give me breaking news about Reams Road. Uh, well, just breaking news about their community there. It's just going to be a while. So, for yeah. you know, we have referenced it several times because they had that big sign out front. And um, we... I'm just going to do one more loop and then we'll yes. scooch on. Don't that, you feel? That's good. Um, does it say four-way stop? Yeah, yes, I want to see how... Um, like <clears throat> Greg is doing and yep. Brian. We have a lot of clients here. Yep. So. Um, what was I saying? Uh, breaking news, Reams Road. Oh, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, just yeah, it's just gonna be a while. So that particular community, we saw the sign, and remember I kept saying, you, you, I think you made a joke about you just there's like nothing there. There's, there's like not a machete even, path, not even like a cut back, road then, yeah. back there. Fantastic um, location. Oh my goodness. So I was talking with Larissa, who works with Dreamfinders. Hi, Larissa. Um, she's amazing, by the way. Um, we were talking yesterday when I was again at the pre-construction meeting. We were just chit-chatting a little bit, and um, you know they always kind of give me the. Not the inside scoop, but they definitely give me the updates as they get them, and she, it's she's like it's going to be a while on that one. So in right. other words, if you're if you're holding out for that one, don't hold out for a while. Right. Uh, you know, you like need, 2023 maybe, right? Maybe like we're like we're, like we're that far off. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I don't know. Hi there. Go no, it's, through it's, through through it's right. construction. So um, it's construction. Okay, sorry. Okay. Um, um, things are going through my head. Okay. So anyway. Anyway. So this is so, what Dream Finder is going to feel like. But, yes. but the scoop that you got also was what's coming probably first before yes, that is, is the Silver Leaf. Leaf. Right. And the Silver Leaf community. And also, right up here, there are um, Dreamfinders is going to have townhomes, which we have oh, not cool. yet seen from Dreamfinders. Townhomes oh, with yeah. rooftop balconies. Okay. That's, that's something. That's so smart. So that is probably, really exciting. I'm not saying you're going to be able to see the Disney fireworks because I don't know that, but I bet I that's bet part of it. That's probably part of it. Oh, these so, people keep making things I you know. want to buy. So, um, yeah, so we're, re we're really excited. And I will have to tell you, too, you know, I do a lot of these pre-construction meetings with clients or for clients if they aren't able to be here in person. Maybe I have to FaceTime them or Skype them or Zoom them. Um, but we were all here in person because my buyers um, already live here locally. Um, but it was the most informative. Um, it was really, really nice. It was almost, um, I won't say too involved, <laughs> but he was so good. And by the way, I will say this builder had to jump in for another builder at the last minute because there was a death in the family. And so he was really, you know, unprepared with the actual paperwork of the home that my clients are building. But so amazing and was so thorough with the process and how it is, how the home is built. Um, and I love it. I just, I am always fascinated with that. And then, you know, I said at the end of it, and we always talk about our performing background and how mm -hmm. much the arts really should be a part of every child's upbringing because it gives you a different perspective on things. Um, and I, and I had said, you know, as he went through the process, so many moving pieces, so many, I mean, literally there's just countless pieces of literal construction, but just the elements that go together to put it together. And you don't even see what's going on behind the scenes. And I always right. say that's that's just like in, in theater. Sure. You know, you watch a Broadway show and there's some people that kind of get the starring role. They get the glitz and glamor, but someone had to make that costume. Someone used that spotlight. Someone recorded that music. Um, it that is, is just, so it, it is a so, it is such a fully encompassing project that I think that's one of the reasons um, the builders like me is because I recognize yeah, that and absolutely. I tell them that because I, from my heart I appreciate everyone's unique talents that they bring together to pulling uh, putting together a home all right with that I'm gonna stop because I'm getting all sentimental okay so, so over here to the right so, so oh. this is going to be all developed right now what you see here with Wellbro go in here not here you're gonna oh, go okay. to Lake Ingram Road yes yeah, so, so but up here this is the new middle school right this, yes so new middle school so so right now the, the middle school is meeting at the new Horizon high school right 
But then the idea is by next year, all of those middle schoolers will come here. Let me turn here. Yeah, turn here. So this is like Ingram Road. This is one of the roads that leads back to sort of this new development area, yes. Silverleaf, North, North Lake, other pieces of other communities that will extend to here. So Lake Ingram is over to our left. You can see it back there. But this... Go ahead, no, please. No, no, no. But this is an example of what Winter Garden was before Horizon Absolutely, yeah. West was born. Yeah, this right? is what... If, so if you were driving the back way to Disney in 1992... Like, these people just own, like, what lots and lots like. of so, land. And we, you know? by the way, literally don't know where we're going right no. now. So we're going to see what happens. We may run into a moat, and that'll be the end of the video. But then I won't post it, because um, I'll be in the moat. But, no, we don't know where we're going. But this will this will get developed. This, to our, to our left, probably will not. These right. folks already have lakefront property on Lake Ingram. Oh, yeah. They're not going to give that um, up. And so, anyway, so we're just we're going to take you back there. But while we do that, we're going to play a game I like okay. to call an inconvenient truth. I wrote down some inconvenient truths. Okay. Babe. I was thinking about, uh, I explained this all before I remembered Ooh, to record. Whoa, Hi. Hello. Um, I explained all this before I started recording, but... So, uh, New York was getting flooded, and I thought about Al Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth, and then it made me think about my son's fantasy football team, where he drafted Frank Gore last year and named his fantasy football team An Inconvenient Truth, and then I thought, you know, there are inconvenient truths about the real estate market in Central Florida. <laughs> An inconvenient truth, this road ends. <laughs> or does it? Yeah, it does. I'm no, not... listen, here's the thing. No, I'm not going down there. Oh, at least go go poke your nose in there and like at least look. Because look, they're constructing things. Yeah, they are constructing things, but I'm not going to go down the dirt road. Just, no, just go a little bit down because I want to see what that... Look, oh, but look. Baby, I can't... This is this exciting. Is no. no, just go to the end where the orange dirt is. Come on. This is why you tuned in. No, this is why they tuned in. Oh, my God, I'm so excited right now. But this is private property. No, it's not. Well, yes, it is, and no, it's. I mean, so, not, so pull in there, yeah, so gonna, you can back around there. Yes, okay. but but okay, okay. But you also could like let us like let us look out at Lake Ingram. That's Lake Ingram. Yes. And then stay here for a second because you can see out the side camera. And that's the hospital way in front of us that we just right, talked about. Where we just were. Mm -hmm. So, like, look, they're building. So this is Silverleaf, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, and again, I'll look on the map to make sure that we're giving you the right name for the because North Lake is over here too. But oh my, holy moly! People, this is going to be a thing. Oh my God! Yes. Okay. Well, now to play our game, we have to drive somewhere else because that was, you know. Uh, but no, look at all that over there too, though. Yeah. So you've got all of this land. Now, they can't again, actually see that because there's not a camera oh, on that side. Oh, never mind. But, you can't no, okay. But that's okay. But over, yeah, over to our left, and that's back behind where the elementary or the uh, middle yeah, school. Yeah, middle school is. is. Be. Holy moly! Okay, my apologies if I was on anyone's private property. I did not mean to. You were not. This is the access road. To the my thing. apologies. My apologies. So my apologies. the pressure here right. in terms of real estate is for these folks to be like, how much could I sell my piece of property for? Right. The answer is a lot. a lot. But by I, the way, we totally get why you wouldn't. Is that your start home? our game. Okay, start our game. Where are you going to drive to? You just uh, pick somewhere. It's fine. I, I'll just drive down. Okay, so, so inconvenient truths about real estate because a lot of times, and another way to phrase this is, what are sort of the mistakes or what are the things that don't meet expectations that are true but right. people are surprised about? Okay, okay. so I'm just going to give you a couple and let you react. Woo. Oh, hi. Okay. Um, coming that time. Okay, this so and some of these are going to be for our friends that are in real estate. Um, we don't do a lot of uh, of we, people call us all the time and say, you know, could you help us with real estate? Because we see that you guys do a lot and you have a lot of business and a lot of clients and you have a lot of social media things and all that. Could you help me figure out how to be? A, and and the truth is, we don't generally have time for that. But so this will be a little bit of a of a thing for you. But I think our viewers will. Appreciate that too. Okay. And Amy's thinking, just go. I don't know where you're going. That's what she's thinking. Move it, move it. Well, inside the marriage, mm -hmm. there are so many examples of when these things <laughs> happen. <laughs> Can we just get on with it, please? Okay. And then, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Okay, realtors and realtors and buyers and sellers in this market in Horizon West where we are right now. Inconvenient truth, true or false, if your home has been on the market for more than 60 days, it's overpriced. True. It's overpriced. It's inconvenient. I'm so sorry that you want uh, $500,000 for your house that's worth $350,000. If you price a house right here right, right. now, it will get sold yeah. in a minute. 
if you price it right, and even if you price it a little bit high, sometimes it'll, it'll go because our because our inventory is so low. Yeah. Yeah, but but okay. so we were looking at a house um, for a client, <clears throat> um, and just happened to go in with them. Uh, Amy had shown them the house actually the day before. I went in with them the second day because she had the the pre construction meeting. So they wanted to go see it again before they considered making an offer. And the, it was one of those things where the listing agent has to be there. Um, and so I said, hey, so what, I, I didn't know anything about it. Because Amy said, could you run down there so they could, you know, to be there for the showing. So I said, so how long is it on the market? Thinking, two days, three days, beautiful house. So I'm like, this is going to go in a second. And he said, oh, you know, a little under 30 days. I get back, I look at the listing. 74 days it had been in the market. So uh, it's overpriced so uh, ultimately our client we don't know how it's going to turn out but we did make an offer but we made an offer of a, at a reasonable price yes. not the overpriced so so there we go okay um appraisals matter yes an inconvenient true. truth it does i mean i don't know how many times we can scream this just fact yep it absolutely ma- the only reason it doesn't matter is if you are a 100% complete cash buyer yep. and you don't care if you're overpaying right. for the home. Right? And if you have a lot of cash, it still matters because that's going to ba- that's going to balance yeah. out how much cash you have to bring because your bank is not going to loan you $500,000 right. for a house that's valued at 400,000. Exactly. So the reason we're saying that and why it's a little bit of advice to realtors is if you're not considering the appraisal when you price it, right. you're not doing your clients a service. Right. Even if you're saying, you know what, guys, we're going to price this $100,000 over appraisal. You at least have to set that expectation. You better know you're doing that because, yeah, of okay. Course. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. If you are listing your, an inconvenient truth, if you are listing your home and you decide that you don't want to make it presentable, you are costing yourself thousands of dollars. True. True. Absolutely. Why? Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, inconvenient because so many. Who things. wants to have to clean up their well, house? Well, first of all, that's that's exactly right. You you need to clean your home. You need to get with your realtor. They need to, you know. And everyone's home is different. Some people already live immaculately. I and hate those. So, uh, yeah, I'm, sorry, I, I'm not that, that person. Love those clients, um, but I don't understand um, them. But then there are other people that don't. I mean, you're living in the home, right? So yeah. I mean, it's not going to be perfectly staged all the time. But if you are, geez, what happens? Oh. Wow. I won't say you're a Toron. You're just a... An inconvenient truth. You're a jerkwad. Bad drivers. Sorry. Um, yes, I am going the speed limit, by the way. Anyway. Um, We're passing Waterlee Phase yes, 1, by Waterlee the way. Yes, Waterlee Phase 1. Passed. Yes. Um, yeah, I was going to think, should I go to Phase 2? What do you want? I think you should go to Hawksmoor. Okay. Well, then I need to loop back around then. Oh, we already passed it. I oh, then, then go to Waterloo Phase 2. Yeah. Because yeah. so I think we would probably stop at Hawksmoor and we have a couple more of these to go. Okay, so. cool. Yeah, that's good. All right. So, um, so, yes, it's an inconvenient truth. But, yes, when you are prepping your home for sale, even in a seller's market, even when you know it's going to get sold, that does not mean you should be lazy. Because here's the thing. If you take a little bit of time and energy to clean, to stage, or to perhaps paint, and I say paint... Um, it is not required, but you do need to then understand if you have painted it a color that is not neutral or appealing to someone that doesn't have your exact taste, yep. um, whether it's, you know, each room is a different color or the whole home is a different color, um, that's going to cost you money because the first thing that people are going to see when they see your home is I have to paint this and it's going to cost me money and time. And they're not going to go, okay, so it'll just cost me money and time. They're going to put... In the little email, in the offer that we get, they're going to say, and we've reduced the offer price by $5,000 because we know we're going to have to paint the house. Right. And, or, I mean, you could, you could get someone that has your exact taste that goes, oh my God, I love this. Yeah. And then it might make you money. But the odds are. Right. It's best to clean it, stage it, and go neutral. Neutral. There it is. Uh, uh, Just make it neutral. I want you to say that again for the people that were... Uh, Clean it, stage it, and go neutral. I like it. Clean it, stage it, go neutral. That's yeah. my new mantra about everything. And and again, oh, oh, are, are we going to get to? Uh, yeah, keep going. I think I think if you, you have an inconvenient truth, no, no, no. no. I think you've probably got it on your list. Okay. I would imagine you did with the way your 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 line of. Okay, I'm gonna go to the, to the personal one. Uh, an inconvenient truth. Uh, I don't just look like Barney Rubble. I look like Elroy Jetson's unemployed uncle. Okay. I look like. Oh if Boo Boo Bear 
took human form. I look like Droopy Dog was a dude. Okay. So I, I don't know how that's relevant. Because it was late at night and I was writing what we're going to do. And I was like, what are the inconvenient truths for me? Oh. And it is inconvenient that I look like Droopy Dog. And it's becoming more and more like that. Although I'll just throw out, shout out to my friend Jim Core who taught me how to talk like Droopy Dog. You want to know? You grab your cheeks like this. And you say, hello, all you happy people. See? It's pretty good Droopy Dog, right? That's pretty good. Hello. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone watches me. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going, hello. <laughs> dog. Okay, dog. Okay. Yeah, dog. Okay. <laughs> Buyers will always want more than they can afford. That's inconvenient, and I think I'm right. I well, I think you are right, and and that is in the vast majority of cases. And it, it people come by it honestly. It's not yeah. you know, um, you know, of of course you do. You know when we we ask. You know, we have wish lists. We, you know, when when your realtor asks you some of the things that you're looking at, how busy Waterly is. This Hold them on. These are all people looking at houses. That's yeah, what's happening. They're walking down to these models. Crazy. Uh, oh, boy. Um, anyway. Um, but, yeah. So, you know, well, here's a perfect example. We had a client once that was pre-approved for a specific amount, and she wanted to be in a specific area. And she was not willing to oh, let yeah, go yeah. of a pool. Oh, and yeah. Unfortunately, what she was looking for didn't match. The area that she wanted did not match the price point with a pool. Even without a pool. Right. It was very difficult. And, you know, sometimes people get mad when they, you know, why why can't I have this? Yeah. And it's just well, because, it, it, you know, you want more. You could have that in another area. And I, but I don't want it to sound negative. I don't mean it a negative thing. Okay. I mean it's human no, it's, nature. It's, yeah, well, yeah. it's human nature. That's to, what and, yeah. and and really, so if you have a budget of four hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars, you're going to want as much as you can possibly get for absolutely. that. Absolutely. There's n- absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Now, every single time someone signs a contract to buy a home. They have buyer's remorse because we're human beings and that's what we do. And we think, well, what if I could have gotten this? What if something comes up on the market tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And we're also, we're always very much afraid of what we are losing as opposed to being excited about what we gain. It's just human. And I don't, I don't, I don't want this to imply buyers are unrealistic. It's not that. It doesn't matter what price point you're at, where you are on the ladder, we always want a little better because we go okay you know I have, oh doggo oh look at this golden oh my gosh um, we're gonna pass this beautiful golden retriever golden lab golden retriever oh, oh he's gonna go inside now oh you blew my gig there dude oh there he is okay cool um anyway um so it's not a negative thing but no when you're out there shopping you're going to have to there's going to be some things that you would like to have that you can't get that you can't get to like the pool in that case. So that's right. why that was an inconvenient truth. Okay. Um, so this is, I don't, I'm, I'm going to phrase this differently than I wrote it. So I'm going to think as I say it. This is back to the little bit of a real estate coaching um, moment. Um, there, an in, and we've said this in drives before. I, I used the old George Carlin joke about there are, somewhere in, the, in America is the worst doctor in the country and someone has an appointment with them tomorrow. So, um, Real estate right now is so difficult. Um, it is really, really hard. Um, hard is not so. So this is our son in high school is taking some AP classes. Right now, it's an AP class in real estate. Is that a good way to put it? Sure. It's we're everything is being stretched and pushed, and we say a lot of times. By the way, Publix coming up here on the on the right as we go by, they're building public shopping and all that. Um, but real estate's really difficult right now, and I don't envy anyone who's just starting out. But for a buyer, recognize that some realtors, um, real estate at its core is a marketing job, and uh, we're either marketing houses or we're responding to other people's marketing to help buyers find things. And it's it's a lot easier to look like you know what you're doing than it is to know what you're doing. Is that a good way to say it? I'm gonna say that again. It's a lot easier to look like you know what you're doing than to actually know what you're doing. So you've gotta dig in a little bit as you're looking for realtors, my point. And this isn't an advertisement for us, but they teach real estate in, in real estate classes. You will hear the phrase over and over, fake it till you make it, 
right? So pretend like you know what you're doing until you actually know what you're doing. You know what's wrong with that? Do you know maybe what's wrong with that? There's a lot of things wrong yeah. with that. What's wrong with it is at the other end of that, your of, uh, other end of your faking it, is someone's home. Right. Someone's, someone's family hundreds home. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Someone's half a million dollars while you're faking it till you make it and taking pictures of yourself and posting them on social media to try to make it look like you are something that you aren't yet. And God bless you, you'll get there, but spend as much time, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll phrase it to people looking for a realtor instead, but you'll get the lesson for realtors underneath it. Spend as much time learning how to do the job right. as you do making it look like you know how. That's actually the key. And it's really hard because, you know, it, it's a difficult business. It's a challenging business. It's fun. But, um, so if you're looking for a, someone to represent you to either sell your home or help you buy one, make sure that they have, that, that they do know what they're doing. And that doesn't mean they have to be experienced and have, you know, 500 transactions in their past. It just means, are you going to Avalon Co? Nope. Oh, okay. I just thought you were going to go there. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm wrapping up. Those are all my inconvenient truths. But my point is, if you're looking for somebody... That's all? D- well, I mean, there's some other ones in there, but... No, there were more. Uh, no, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Because um, we combined a couple of them. Do you have other inconvenient truths? Oh, I don't know. This was your time. Really? Barney, the, the, the Elroy Jetson uncle, unemployed uncle thing is really... It's exhausting. You mean me or, or looking like... <laughs> It is exa- both ways, both no, things. No, it's not. Anyway, but listen, so we showed you a lot of stuff. I don't know. We've been talking forever. I know. Um, and we did just kind of drive through a couple of the same areas that we really referenced before. We haven't really been there in a while. Before. It's fine. I think it's yeah, good. I know. We, um, we have some other ones coming up soon. And again, candidly, we have to fit these in when we can fit them in because we are actually working. We do actually have clients. Um, in fact, I have some that should be landing any time now. And okay. so I need to go meet them uh the 55 plus community shortly so but we're never complaining when we say that we are so unbelievably grateful yes we so far um few and far between when we've been like we just don't have time to help you please call please text text is easier for our time right but um we're here to help whatever it is um don't don't take it when we go oh my god we're exhausted and there's someone else landing We'll have time. We'll make time. Uh, we've got resources to help as well. So please do call. But and don't. I, I'm just. I, I never want to be one of those people that's like things are going great, but you're still complaining about. I mean, you're not. That, I was suggesting you are. I'm saying we're not. I'm gonna shut up now. Would that be good. That'd be good. Inconvenient truth. Eric talks too much. True. True. Is it? No. All right, guys. We love you. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay well. Happy house hunting. We'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>